Welcome to one of Europe's craziest parties, the world-famous Carnival in Cologne, Germany, which draws millions of visitors to the city every winter. If you want to know what this celebration is all about and how to enjoy it to the fullest, this video is your formal invitation to Party Crash. So here's everything you need to know about Carnival, from what it is, what to wear, where to celebrate, and how to scheme your way to limitless free candy. And if you're actually planning a trip to Carnival, be sure to also check out the written version of this guide on happytowander.com, where more practical tips and information awaits. Now, without further ado, hit that cheesy intro. What's up, Smarties? Christina here from happytowander.com. Today, I'm taking you to one of the best parties in Germany, the Carnival in Cologne. For more Europe videos just like this one, be sure to subscribe and give this video a like so I know that you're excited to party. Before we get started, I do have a postcard to give away. Every week, I send a postcard to someone who comments, so congratulations to Tammy, this week's winner. Be sure to leave a comment below as well in this video for your chance to win. Now, let's get down to business. In a nutshell, the Cologne Carnival, or Kölner Carnival, is a celebration that is best described as a week of non-stop fun leading up to Lent. You know, to get all that partying out of your system. And while Carnival is celebrated around the world, Cologne is one of the most famous places in Europe to partake in the festivities. In fact, Carnival traditions in Cologne are so beloved that this period of time is often referred to as the fifth season. This season officially starts on November 11th at 11.11 each year, but the so-called Crazy Days Street Festival in the week before Lent are what millions of partygoers come to celebrate each year, in costume. And this year, I threw myself in the mix as the obscure Mario supervillain, Waluigi. Trust me, nobody had a clue who I was. But from the fancy ticketed mass balls to spontaneous dance parties in the streets, this week of unhinged partying has a little something for everyone. Even D-list Mario characters. Now before we get into it, why don't we start with some history? The history of Carnival goes almost as far back as the history of Cologne itself. Spring festivals were popular among the Greeks and Romans at the time, and was a time to honor Dionysus and Saturn with plenty of wine and indulgence. These customs continued into the Middle Ages with a Christian twist, and celebrations became a final chance to feast and run wild before the fasting and sacrifice typical of Lent. In fact, the name Carnival even comes from the Latin phrase Carnivale, which effectively means goodbye to meat. So, people in Cologne have been indulging in these pre-Lent celebrations for centuries, and throughout occupations, wars, and disease the festivities have always clawed their way back into the social calendar. In 1823, the establishment of a formal committee would turn Carnival into the blob of organized chaos that we enjoy today, a celebration fueled by booze, sweets, and reckless indulgence. With rogue bands performing on the streets, the city center crammed with costumed partiers, and of course, an endless flow of the local life source, Kölsch, a dangerously drinkable beer with an assumed refill policy. That's right, when enjoying Kölsch, they just keep bringing you more until you throw a coaster on your glass like a quitter. And because Mama didn't raise no quitter, I'm sure you can imagine this had some rather dangerous results for Waluigi. But despite the messy chaos of it all, Carnival is actually one pretty organized operation with its own schedule, rules, and lingo. Again, for practical tips, be sure to check out the written version of this guide, which I'll be linking in the description. Today, the street carnival as we know begins on the Viber Fastnacht, also known as Fat Thursday. In Cologne, this is a day for the ladies, with a fun tradition of women literally running around cutting men's neckties off. This day is also considered the carnival opening day. And at 11.11, the parties begin, with costumed partiers known as Yekin flooding the streets. Costume-wise, anything goes, but the more colorful, the better. All throughout the week, you'll hear Yekin calling out Köl Alaf, which means Cologne above all. You'll hear this probably more than even hello. 
Friday is mainly regarded as a day of rest, with some performances here and there, before the madness of Carnival Saturday, when the drinking begins in the morning and keeps going until, well, honestly, it just keeps going, and everybody becomes your best friend. Several parades take to the streets throughout Carnival, including a ghost parade typically on Saturday, a children's parade on Sunday, and of course, the week's main event, the Rose Monday Parade. Trust me when I say there is no parade quite like it. With a parade route spanning six and a half kilometers, this is a parade that lasts three entire hours, during which the whole time they are hurling candy, roses, and literal boxes of chocolate straight into the audience. The key to getting the goods? Sweet talk. You shout Camella for candy, and Strucia for roses. I was even handed one lonely peanut. Throughout the parade, they give away over 140 tons of sweets, 700,000 bars of chocolate, and over 300,000 flowers. I was personally quite pleased with my haul. And while I headed home on Tuesday afternoon, the celebrations don't stop there. In fact, Carnival Tuesday typically ends with the burning of a little straw effigy they call a noble. Basically, they blame all their sins and the wrongs of the world on this noble, and then they burn him to a crisp. Yeah, it's pretty dark. After the arson, festivities wind down on Ash Wednesday. When life returns to normal, the costumes go back into their sticky dressers, and many will enjoy a traditional fish dinner. So, what's the best way to get into the carnival spirit? Put on a costume, grab yourself some kosh, and the rest will figure itself out. Thanks for watching, Smarties. I hope you enjoyed this virtual trip to the famous Kunda Carnival. Be sure to subscribe for more Europe videos just like this one, and let me know in the comments if you'd ever like to go for real. Until next week, bye!